Creating a paper cutout animation using Photoshop. How to create a cutout animation using Photoshop. So Niall took all these photos of um, his cutout animation and now at this point um, we're going to download them. So we download the whole file. It's zipping the file. Okay, and there it is. So I'm going to click, double click on this file. Uh, I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to um, extract. Well, I'm going to double click on it and then I'm going to extract all. So now they're extracted and we have the folder. <clears throat> okay, and so I'm going to now go to Photoshop, and I'm going to do, cancel, I'm going to do File, Scripts, hold on one sec, I just want to say something like that. okay. Uh, file scripts, uh, load files into stack. So then I hit browse. Um, I have the file here that's extracted. I double click on it. Now I'm going to click on the first one and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on the last one and hold the shift key. Okay. And so that selects all the files. I hit OK. And then again, I'm going to hit the top one and then the bottom one. Hold the shift key, click the bottom one and then hit OK. And that should bring all the files in in a stack. And it's loading them into layers. Right, so I have all these layers loaded into a stack um, and now we're going to do image and we're going to do image rotation and we're going to do 90 degrees counterclockwise. Okay, so let me just get this into the default. Okay, so right now you have all the layers and what you want to do is turn them into animation frames. So what you do is you go up to window and you go to timeline and it says create video timeline. You do not want that. So go to this down arrow here and change it to create frame animation. Then once it's on frame animation, just click in the middle here and that gives you an animation frame. You go over here and um, you click make frames from layers. So if I click on the first frame, and then I go all the way down here and click on the last frame while holding the shift key down. It'll select all the frames and I can change the timing. So it was, it's currently at zero seconds. I'm going to change it to 0.2 seconds. So let's see what this animation looks like. Okay. Okay. So it's backwards. So if that happens, you just go here and you do reverse frames and it will make all the frames uh, in the exact reverse order. So let's go back to one and let's now play it. Okay, I think it looks great. So once we have the image stack and we have everything, uh, in the, the frames in the correct order, there's several things that we're going to do. One is that we're going to uh, save it. So we'll do save as, save on your computer. Um, so I'm just going to call this 
um, cut out animation stack, and I'll call it a uh, caterpillar animation stack. Um, actually, what I could do is Let's see. N-I-A-L-L -L is the way the student spells their name. Okay, file, save as, save on your computer. N-I-A-L-L -L, um, animation stack. Okay, so I'm going to save it as a, an, an, um, a layered Photoshop file. And then what we're going to do is we're going to export it. So we do file, um, export, um, and we want to render video. Okay, now this is very important. This part's very important. Um, Right now, it's going to render a video that's going to be way too big. So what we're going to do is um, IL animation stack MP4, um, C users desktop. OK, good. Um, and this is the most important thing. A lot of times when you do this, it's preset to document size, and that's not going to work. Because if it's on the document size, these photos are huge and it's going to be too big to render. So you want to change it to um, HD 1080. Okay. So it's 1280 by 1080, which is the same size as a YouTube video, um, same dimensions, etc. cetera. Um, so just be very careful of the size. Okay. Check the size that it's not on. You don't want it to be on document size, okay? Because that would be too big. And then you're going to hit render, and it'll make a very short animation. You know, and, and it's, it's not going to have any sound or anything. It'll be very short. You'll be able to adjust the length in Wii Video, and you'll be able to add sound effects, etc. You'll be able to loop it if you want to. So it's file, export, render video. But make sure to also save your stack as well. So let me just see if it has been exported. Uh, let's go to uh, desktop. And there's the animation stack. Let's look at it, how it looks. Very cute. Okay. It's about a five second video and that's how you do it. Okay. Let's see.